Hello everyone. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, we can't play any tennis because of the UK national lockdown. However, I thought I would share with you my favorite workout that I do pretty much most mornings um, early in the morning to get my heart pumping and to start my day off on the right foot. I love to do the 10 minute yellow ball workout from Junior Player Fitness um, because it allows me to not only, like I said, get my heart pumping, but it's also tennis specific. So I know that it's going to have a benefit when we go back to tennis. Now, for those of you that don't know, Junior Player Fitness is an online tennis fitness platform set up by us, the Tennis Brothers, and Daz Drake, an ATP and WTA fitness coach. I love doing the workouts because they're super easy to follow, and it's also explained in detail by Daz himself, meaning I'm never confused about what the exercise actually is. Follow along if you want to and do the workout, or if you want to check out more of the workouts on Junior Player Fitness, then click the link in the description, and you will get one week for free on us. So make sure you go check that out if you want to and I hope you enjoy the video. This four week program will target your skill so you can be more balanced and coordinated on the court, your speed to be faster on the court and your strength to hit the ball harder. Before you start the workout, please remember to bring a water bottle, a towel, a workout mat, a mini band, one football and a tennis racket. Get yourself ready for the first exercise. It's the downward dog drill. This is an excellent exercise to lengthen the muscles on the back of your legs and also the upper back. Thirty seconds of work. Let's go. During this exercise, you're going to start on the mat on all fours with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. What I want you to do is push with your hands firmly into the ground to lift your hips up into the air and away from your hands. You should feel a nice stretch in the back of the legs, in the calves, in the hamstrings and also in the upper back. Don't forget to breathe, so breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Five seconds left, three, two, one and stop. It's the rest period now, so walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Up next is the band lateral walks. This is a brilliant exercise for improving your dynamic balance to keep your shoulders level and also strengthen the muscles on the outside of the hip, which is really important for change of direction. Three, two, one, let's do this. For this exercise, you're wearing the mini band around your ankles. It's important to keep your head still, your shoulders level and tension on the band. Make sure that you're stepping with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart to make sure you're feeling it in the hip muscles. Don't forget to breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You're over halfway now, so keep going. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one, stop there. Time for the rest period again. Walk around, sip some water and keep moving. We're working on our coordination next with football keep ups. This is a great exercise for foot eye coordination. Three, two, one, off you go. For this exercise, you'll see that Felix does a ready position in between each kick of the ball. This is really important to keep you activated so you can react to the ball and make sure that you can catch it wherever it lands. If you're new to this exercise, don't worry, but try your best to alternate between the left foot and the right foot to improve both sides of your body. You're over halfway now, so don't forget to breathe. Five seconds left, almost done. Just a few more seconds. Take a break. It's time for the rest period again. Walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Next, we're doing five meter forward acceleration step. This is a fantastic exercise for improving your first step speed in the forwards direction. Let's do this. For this exercise, Felix will start in a ready position. He'll burst off of the mark driving his arms forward and accelerating for a couple of meters. Then he'll put the brakes on, stop, and then backpedal back to the beginning. You're over halfway now, so don't forget to breathe. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep driving those arms forwards and backwards. Nearly there now. Three, two, 
one and stop. Take a break, walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Get yourself ready for the next exercise. It's five meter start lateral with the pivot step. This is a fantastic exercise for improving your first step speed going sideways. 30 seconds of work, let's go. For this exercise, Felix will start in a ready position and turn and run to his right for like a wide forehand if you're a right-handed player. Each time he does the exercise, he'll turn his shoulders and use his arms to drive explosively over a couple of steps. After 15 seconds, he's turning around and facing the other way as if he's now running to a wide backhand for a right-handed player. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one and stop. It's time for the rest period. Walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Next, we're doing the 90 degree cut with a pause. This is a fantastic exercise for improving our multi-directional speed. Five seconds left. Let's get started. For this exercise, Felix is going to start in a ready position and run forward for a couple of meters and then push off explosively off of the left leg to run in the opposite direction and make the 90 degree cut. Back pedal back to the beginning and restart the exercise. It's really important to keep using the arms. At the halfway point now, I want you to now change into the opposite side. So this time you're going to be pushing hard off of the right leg and doing your 90 degree cut in the opposite direction. Great job. Three two, one, and stop there. Time for the rest period, walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Get yourself ready for the next exercise, it's the closed pivot. This is another one of our sport specific speed exercises. 30 seconds of work, let's go. During this exercise, Felix will be starting in his ready position and active on the balls of his feet. He's going to alternate a forehand strike with a backhand strike, making sure that he steps in front of his body and bends his front leg so it's almost parallel with the ground. Don't forget to breathe, so breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as you hit the ball. Three, two, one one and stop there take you 20 seconds now to have a rest walk around sip some water and keep moving we're working on our leg strength next with the curtsy lunge three two one off you go Starting with your feet about shoulder width apart, you're going to reach backwards into a long wide lunge, aiming to keep your front foot flat, your hips and your shoulders facing forward. It's important to try and get as low as you can so that the front leg is almost parallel to the ground and the back knee is bent at 90 degrees. Don't forget to breathe, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Great job. Almost done, just a few seconds left and stop there. It's time for your rest period, so walk around, sip some water and keep moving. Next, we're going to be doing the lateral crawl and press up, which is a fantastic exercise for improving upper body strength and stability. Three, two, one, let's go. For this exercise, Felix is going to be working over a distance of about two meters. To do this, he's going to take three lateral walks, perform a press up, and then repeat the sequence one more time. When he's done that, he's going to return in the direction of the start position. It's important that you keep your hands shoulder width apart and that your feet and your arms move at the same time. Great job. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop time for your rest period again so take your 20 seconds to walk around sip some water and keep moving we're working on our core strength next with our lechners three two one off you go to do this exercise it's important that you keep your abdominals tight at all times 
To do this, make sure that you're keeping your back pushed hard into the ground and allow your feet to move away from you only as far as you can do that. In this case, Felix is quite advanced, so he's having a nice long arm position and a long leg position. But make sure that when you're doing it, you do keep your back nice and flat against the floor. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done, you've got to the end of this junior player fitness workout. Keep it up and keep working hard.